Hey there guys, this is Michael, Master M from Facetious Gaming, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a guild in Terra Online. Now, you're going to need three things. You need to be above level 8, you need to have 3000 gold, and you need to have somebody else in your party. Short of that, it's really a matter of typing in a name, pressing apply, and waiting for the other guy to accept to make the guild. You don't have to go through all the uh, hassle you do in World of Warcraft, for example, of getting your charter, getting 10 people to sign it, and it's all a bit of a hassle. That's really it, the guild is now made. Now, one of the really cool things about Terra that I was managed to see in Sneak Peek again with the guilds is the emblem system. Now, you're really, really not restricted at all when it comes to emblems, and I'll show you exactly what I mean by that in a second. Uh, when you speak to the guild emblem master, once I'm done speaking to the guild, uh, he will tell you that you can basically use any image song 64x64 in BMP yeah. format, and you put it in the correct file, which I'll show you how to do just now. Wait for it. Transition. Okay, so what you want to get, do is find your image. I've got mine in my pictures, if I ever find it. Uh, now it has to be in 64 by 64 dimensions, otherwise this won't work, and it has to be a bitmap image. So all you have to do, copy it. Go to your computer. Look at the C. Uh, not Fraps, you need to go to Program Files. I click Fraps just out of force of habit. And go find the file for Terra. Once you found that, go to Client, S1 Game, and then Guild Logo Update, Upload rather, and then paste it in there. And that's really all there is. Now, once you've done that, you'll get this screen when you speak to the guy. The Federation. All you have to do now: select your image, save image, click OK, and you're done. Uh, that is now your guild image. Now that will appear to other players. Uh, right next to your name. I don't actually have my nameplate showing at this point, so I actually have to go into uh, Not activities menu social menu. I mean I meant to click on guild, but I'm not very good at this game apparently There you go. I got there eventually now from here if you click on guild lock You will see your logo in the top left hand corner, which I think is pretty cool You've got it basically just gives you go that much more individuality, which I was thinking is quite uh, quite important uh, now another thing I can show you pretty quickly, just due to luck, is how to invite somebody to your guild. Uh, thanks to uh, Vashitira, that's a difficult name to pronounce, I'm sorry I'm terrible with names, I probably murdered it. Uh, or Summon a War on YouTube as he's known. Uh, just thanks to that because it helped me out, and I like to thank people who help me in my videos. So quite literally you just have to right click, G invite, and there you go. Now one of the other really cool things about Terra for guilds, uh, which unfortunately wasn't really in the sneak peek again, so I couldn't show you guys it, is there are actually guild holes in this game. Here? Now, from what I can tell, guild holes basically just give you access to better. a special vendor, and it's a cool place for your guild to hang out. Short of that, I really can't tell you anything. What can I do for uh, another thing that's pretty important is this guy, the election register. Now, the way Terra works is, you've probably heard of this, is the political system. I can't really go into very much detail, because I don't have enough time in this video to... It, it's a pretty in-depth system. Uh, what I'll be doing is I'll post a link to the video by the guys who made Terra explaining the system to you, because they, obviously they do a lot better job of it than me. Uh, one quick thing you can do is, if you go to Guild, because why do I suck so bad at these menus? <laughs> it was 5am when I recorded this, to be fair. Right, if you go to Guild, you can set your Guild title and your Message of the Day. Now, Message of the Day works just like it would in WoW, but Guild title is kind of cool in that uh, it seems to just give you a little title above your name, so I think I sent mine to Gamer or something like that. So my my type, my nameplate went uh, Gamer, Master M nine zero nine nine. Oh, sorry, no, just Master M in this, and then it would say Facetious Gaming and have my logo next to it, which I think is pretty cool because again it just adds that other layer of individuality, which I always think is kind of important in these games. It's kind of a bad thing when every good looks the same. Well, well, thank you guys for watching, and I hope this video has been informative. Uh, if you've found it has been, please rate it, comment it, and subscribe. And I'll speak to you guys next time. See ya.